It's officially that time of year. I cannot believe it. Welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, welcome. My name's Shelly. I am a second grade teacher in Northern California. And if you've been here a while, you know what time it is. It is classroom setup series time. I can't believe it. It's crazy. It's my favorite time of year. I love setting up my classroom, regardless of how overwhelmed I am looking at everything at the moment. Um, I just love when it all comes together. So today is obviously the very first video in this series. So before we jump into all things set up, I felt like I should take like 30 seconds to kind of catch anybody up who is either brand new or hasn't been here since the beginning. Um, just catch you up, A, on my status for next year, and B, just kind of my classroom setup history, if you will, because all I've ever wanted is to just be able to walk into a classroom in July and not have to do a ton and just like tweak things and improve things here and there but that's not really my reality. So essentially this will be my fifth year teaching, um, but my very first year teaching, I obviously had a new classroom. My second year teaching, I had to move classrooms, so I had to do an entirely new everything. My third year of teaching, I moved schools, so again, I had to pack everything up and move, but I had also switched grade levels, so I was transitioning from third grade decor to sixth grade decor, and then my fourth year of teaching was COVID, and I moved to second grade. So now that we're in my fifth year teaching, I feel like I am starting from scratch all over again because now my mind is really kind of in a primary mindset. And so there's definitely some things that I'm going to be tweaking um, in terms of management and just like flow of the room, which we'll chat about in just a minute. So, so before we jumped into the video, I thought it was important to just kind of fill you in that the reason I don't have my together all the time is because I've moved a lot, grade level schools, rooms, I mean, it's nonstop. Not to mention the school that I'm currently at, which I hope I'm at forever, uh, is undergoing a complete modernization. So eventually I'll have to move classrooms again, get a remodel and then come back into a room. So it's just never ending. But luckily I love setting up my classroom. So um, it's okay. All right, all of that being said, today is day one. Now, typically if you've been here a while, you know that I always start with furniture because I think it's really important to get the design and the layout down before you start decorating walls and figuring out like where all the like cutesy stuff goes. However, um, the desks that are in my room right now may or may not stay. So I am not going to break my back moving furniture and trying to figure out a layout just yet because there is a lot of other things that I wanna do today. So my goal for this vlog is to one, show you all the things that I have purchased <laughs> this summer. Please keep in mind that we get a very generous budget from our PTA. Um, so everything that I have purchased, I will be reimbursed for, which I am so incredibly grateful for. And I know that that is not the norm, um, but I just wanna throw that out there because I would not typically spend my own money on all of this. So I wanna show you everything that I've got. I am also doing a little bit of a theme switch up nothing drastic but again if you've been here for a while you know that i've stuck to like all blues and greens um which i love and they're gonna stay but i'm definitely gonna add some some things which i'll talk about in a minute lastly i just really want to get organized because my team teacher and i have already been spending so much time this summer prepping and everything for like the first month because if you didn't know i am currently nine months pregnant due in about four weeks so I will not be here for the first half of the school year on top of everything else, which I'm so grateful for to be able to spend so much time with the baby. However, I feel more pressure to have everything dialed because typically if I don't have all my loose ends tied up by the very first day of school, it's fine because I could just do it as those first few weeks roll out. I don't have that luxury this time and I really wanna make sure the sub can come in and just go. So a little bit more pressure, but that's okay. All right, I promised I wasn't gonna ramble for too long, but there was a lot to tell you guys. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you everything that I got, walk you through kind of my style changes in my mind, show you my room and tell you kind of what I'm thinking. I gotta build some furniture and then I'm gonna start organizing and that's pretty much gonna be this vlog. So let's go. Okay, I guess let's just start by showing you the current state of my room. So you'll see there's lots of blues and greens. 
All right, here's all the stuff we're gonna talk about. <laughs> so the reason I'm not doing furniture is because um, I told my janitor I just hate these desks. Assuming everything goes back to normal, like pre-COVID times, which at this point it looks like it's going to, I really wanna have my kids in groups. And these trapezoid desks do not allow for grouping that's also mindful of like space. So I might be getting tables, I might be getting more square desks, I don't really know. We're not gonna worry about that. Okay, so in terms of style shifts, I am going to move away from just blue and green and as you can tell, I'm gonna be adding a lot more blacks to the room. I just think it's really crisp and I just like the vibe. I'm also going to be adding other pops of color. Now, I have said in the past, I am not a fan of rainbow and that is still true. I don't like a traditional rainbow. However, I find that with the primary kids, the bright colors are very helpful for management purposes. For example, my table groups will be color coordinated, reading groups, just the colors really help the organization of everything. So that being said, I'm gonna add some pops of color. Um, not necessarily rainbow, but I just think it will be something nice and fresh to look at with a lot of blacks and whites because I do still like that neutral piece. We'll see how I like it. I didn't buy like a ton of bins or anything, um, just in case it's not like what I'm feeling. But I figured, let's try it out if we like it then we'll keep going years to come. But for now, that's kind of where my mind's at. So that being said, let me show you what I bought. All right, so first things first, um, this is upside down, but this is from Target. Um, I think it was like 15 bucks. And that is going to replace this right here. I've had this forever, it's disgusting. This is where I keep like Band-Aids, extra water bottles, any like first aid kind of recess stuff. Um, so I'm gonna replace that with the black one. And I still need six more of these. These are from Michaels. Now, I'm going to have six table groups, which we'll talk about in a minute. And my goal is to have two per table group because in theory, I really only want two kids sharing one of these. It's what my team teacher does and she says it really works for her. Normally, I hate caddies, but I think the way that I'm planning on using them will work better. So that being said, I went over to Lakeshore and I got one color tray for each of my table groups. I am missing a purple because they were out, so they are shipping it to me. And it's not like this kind of purple, it's like a really neon purple, which I'm excited about. Um, also, I hate red, so I am not using any red, instead I'm doing pink. So, so I will have six table groups. So for example, the orange table group will have this in the middle of their desk and then two caddies on either side. And in here is going to be something very specific that we will talk about as we go through setup, but I don't want to show you that I bought these. And then this is the border that I'm feeling. I'm really excited about it. It's a black and white border. It's from Schoolgirl Style, but again, I got it from Lakeshore. I just thought it went really well with kind of what I'm going for. I do think I might add a little bit more black behind it. I don't really know. We will see once we get to the walls. That being said, I got some more fadeless paper. Luckily, I do still have green and blue up. So I'm not gonna have to take all my boards down, um, but I did get some more colors just for fun. And then I also got these black bins, which are going to be used for, again, something very specific. Their binders are gonna be in here. We'll chat more about that later, but I did need to find these and this is what I got this morning. These are actually from Big Lots. I think they're like five, what are they? 5.75 a piece. <laughs> all right. The next thing I purchased, you guys are gonna think I'm insane, was all of these drawer carts from Michaels. I got four of them. Hear me out. In my four years of teaching, I have tried everything. I have tried one of these carts. I have tried these bins. I have tried a filing cabinet. I have tried like anything I can to manage paper. Now. I am learning that with second grade and actually working with a team that likes to be prepped in advance, which I'm so grateful for, I had so many stacks of paper just lying around still and it drove me nuts. So I decided I was going to give these another try with the idea that I'm going to do some very, very intentional beautiful labeling because that's what makes my teacher heart happy and I think that's what's going to work for me. 
it's only year five, and I know that's crazy to say, but it takes so long to figure out what systems work for you. So let me show you the different carts that I got. All right, this is the first one that I got. I liked this one because it had this like big space up top so I could do baskets for like turn in or something. Um, and this might be center stuff. I haven't decided what I'm gonna put in each of the drawers is something that I wanna do today. I also got one of the rainbow carts. I just felt like I might as well get one. <laughs> we'll see if I end up keeping it or if I like it, I don't know. But I figured it was a good pop of color since that's what I'm trying to go for. Then I got one of these with the big ones and my idea for this is to have each subject and then this is where I can put my curriculum because that is something I really struggled with. I found that I would have like my big math book, my big ELA curriculum book, science. I mean, everything was just like thrown on tabletops and it was so messy. It didn't fit in anything and they're all gonna fit in here, which is really exciting. Any read alouds that I wanna do, like I just feel like the big ones are gonna be really nice to have, again, with labels. And then I got one more and then I got just another clear one and I haven't decided if I'm gonna do days of the week or something else. So we are going to figure that out today after we build all of these, but this was another big purchase. Again, thank you to the PTA for funding this. And then I still have this one from like my very first year of teaching. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's so messed up and like chipped and I don't know. I don't wanna throw it away, but I might just give it away to a teacher here um, or I might keep it. Okay, so that brings us over here. These are Ikea drawer sets and I have the tabletop over there. This was my makeup desk for my house that I had to get rid of because we are having a new baby. But I thought this would be a good like teacher desk space. So this is gonna be where I like direct teach from for my, you know, thing. So that's where we're at. Now that I am 100% out of breath, I'm gonna put you down. I am going to build all of these carts and then my goal is to figure out what exactly is going to go into every single drawer so I can go home and make all the labels so that can be a separate video. So I'm gonna put you guys down and I'm gonna start. This is gonna happen. I knew that as soon as I got done building these, I'd be exhausted and wanna go. This classroom setup series might be like a lot of shorter videos, just given the circumstances and my stamina is like two hours and then I am like, I need a nap. So I finished building them. So I built these two first and then I built these ones and decided that I was gonna wait to put the knobs on because I'll probably put labels on and have to take these off anyway. So I have the knobs ready to go. They're actually so easy to put together. It's just a little bit time consuming. So now what I wanna do is figure out what's going to go in each of these. However, I am really annoyed because I have a whole list of things that I was thinking about putting a drawer or giving a drawer to, just like brain dumping them all and I left that list at home. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna use sticky notes and do my best to pull from my brain. So wish me luck. Okay, so my battery died. I don't know how much of this you saw, but <laughs> this is my thought process at the moment. My brain is all over the place, but this is definitely a good start. My brain is fried, and since I don't have my other list in front of me, what I did was I took pictures of these, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home in a little bit, and I'm gonna look at my list, and then I will finalize, and then I will make labels. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this vlog here. This should be a short one. This was a good vlog to get our toes wet into classroom setup. So hopefully in the next vlog, I will be doing furniture, 
or labels or boards or something a little bit more fun, but this is the kind of brain work stuff that has to get done in order for me to feel sane. All right, so we're gonna end this here. If you enjoy classroom setup videos, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure that you are subscribed. Also, I typically story on Instagram while I'm doing this live, so you definitely get more of a sneak peek um, if you follow me on Instagram. So if you're not, go follow me on Instagram at early adventures. I think that's it. I'm really excited to start setting up even though I won't be here in the beginning, but that's okay. Let me know down below if you guys are already starting to set up where you teach, what you teach. I love interacting with you guys. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.